Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your July 2021 general uh, reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. Again, let's go ahead and get, jump into this Aquarius. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's take a look at the cards, Aquarius. This is a very interesting reading. Um, okay, so we have the Page of Cups here. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Clarifying the Nine of Pentacles, we have a Star card. And we have the Empress card. So we have nothing but good cards, okay? Um, okay, so the cards want you to know, Aquarius, there's nothing but uh, opportunity. Good opportunity, great opportunity here for the taking. Especially with the Ace of Pentacles coming out. Um, clarifying the reading. Opportunity is here for the taking Aquarius, but it looks like some of you need to do some healing of your heart chakra, of your sacral chakra. Some of you, you want intimacy, you want a real relationship, you want something new, but you're still keeping people, places, things at bay. Um, keeping them outside of your home or your heart chakra or your intimate space there is lack of intimacy you don't want it's almost as if you fear it you fear intimacy now for some of you that could be sexual activity for some of you it's, it's going to be sexual activity vulnerability um, open and honest conversations you just want to keep things on the surface level, whether you are doing it consciously or subconsciously. Some of you go back and forth in your mind and in your heart space of, well, I'll just be single. I'll just be abundant and single and I'll have my business and I'll have my this and I'll have my that. But then you go to the other side of that and it's like, well, I want to be, you know, some of you, you want to be mothers or you want to be in a loving, nurturing relationship. So it's like the two polars because, believe it or not, the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress are direct opposition cards. So these are opposing cards. Very good cards, but they oppose one another. The Nine of Pentacles talks about discipline. Um, self-restriction, reframing from, getting it done all alone, um, relying on yourself, being accountable for you, uh, relying on your own resourcefulness, relying on your own love, your own entertainment. The Empress talks about creation, abundance, lavishness. It talks about giving, sharing, creating with others. The three talks about social groups and activities, uh, socializing. It's like you go back and forth between, okay, I'm just going to just go it alone and then, okay, I want somebody. So the universe is asking you to get clear with the star card on what it is you really want to come into your life because the opportunity for it to show up with the Ace of Pentacles is here. Some of you, you do need to do the healing. You need to go through the healing process and do the healing work with the star card because the star card is directly related to the strength card, which is Leo. And some of you need to heal your ego. You need to heal your sacral chakra. You need to heal um, sexual energy, obsessions, compulsion. Um, you really need to get serious and honest because the... The strength card talks about forgiveness, compassion, truthfulness. So you need to be more compassionate, truthful, and honest with yourself in order to move forward. This reading is completely about the Aquarius. It is not about um, 
other people or other persons involved. Now, you could have dealt with some other energy that, you know, uh, caused you issue. This reading is really not about that. It's really not about who shot John and who did what to who. We'll have those readings, but this is not one of those readings. This reading comes as... Um, not a, not a warning, but it comes to you as, um, I guess, a, a fortune or foretelling what you can really have because the the meta the vision I was getting during meditation off camera was um, it's like someone was hammering like in, in a mine they were mining for like diamonds they just kept hearing pressure pressurized and you know pressure bust pipes but it also makes diamonds something something is um restricting you or oppressing you and you're gonna blow at some point and that's why you pull this card, um, compulsion and addiction are symptoms of the problem, not the problem, the sacral chakra. Some of you definitely need to get clear with the, um, whoop, with the ace of sword coming out. You need it. The, so the aces are about, um, they're like portals to the divine. They're giving you some gift here. And with the Ace of Swords, you're getting gift of clarity. So your mind is so clear and and um, you, you're finding clarity in your thought process that it might even cause conflict for you right now before you get resolution. So you may have some conflicting and opposing viewpoints about people, places, things, or things that you've done um, and or said. And now you need to kind of sort through that conflict so that you can have resolution. So it's like the spirit is saying, look, you've got nothing but goodness coming in for you, okay? Um, in all fronts, because I asked, is this just love or is it um, career and finance too? Well, it's both. You got the empress coming out again. Um, it's career and finance, it's love. You have. Um, the messenger of love, the page of cups coming to you. This also is a um, good news about business matters. Also, it's just good news and it's happy news. It's a happy surprise coming to you. It could, and it, it looks like this is a new person. So if you're waiting for old energy, you need to go ahead and close that door. Why do you need to close that door? Um, because I experienced it. What is holding Aquarius back? And we got the three of pentacles which is works. Um, this is Aquarius putting their energy, time, effort, their pressure, their work, because pressure is um, exerted force um, over, uh, uh, what, is, what is it, exerted force over a certain amount of time. Um, so some of you are putting a lot of work into the wrong people, into the wrong things, into, um, yeah, continuous physical force exerted on or against an object by something it's in contact with. So some of you are pushing for the relationship, you're pushing for the business, and it might be the wrong business, it might be the wrong relationship with the wrong person, and you're continuously pushing for that. Um, this is what's holding you back. Clarifying the Three of Pentacles, you push it and putting your works in the wrong direction, is the death card. The death card talks about being able to um, really sever ties. This card talks about the ending of a relationship, whatever type of relationship this could be, whether it's romantic, platonic, familiar, business, whatever. You need to be able to put an end to this. You need to be able to uh, stop, um, to close one door so that another can open. You need to be able to transmute or yeah, the energy here, because energy never dies. You need to be able to put it elsewhere into something better, into something good, because, again, the opportunity for something that you do not have to chase. That's what the Ace of Pentacles is about. It's this opportunity, no chase. 
an opportunity will be presented to you that you won't have to chase, you won't have to uh, search for, you won't have to look for, you won't have to pine after, you won't have to pine over, you won't have to follow behind, you won't have to um, fight for it. There's no chase here. It'll just be presented to you. And all you have to do is grow it. You have to nurture it. And that's why the, the Empress keeps coming up because she is about nurturing growth, abundance, love, creativity, uh, be beauty. Some of you have all that you need to be the Joker, to go in a new direction, a new development. Um, but you have to close one door. Whether whether you say, I've got some of you are out there like, I did close that door. I don't talk to him anymore. I don't do that. But you're still looking at tarot card readings about what the past person is doing. You still may reserve some energy within yourself that wants to kind of see them grovel over you. You know, you, you want a little get back, little bitches. And I mean, it's human. It's human nature. Okay, so what you do, deal with that energy, deal with that energy and how you close that out, how you really not think about this person, how you, even if you don't think, even if you think about them and it's not in the best light, you shouldn't be thinking about somebody that, it, you know, it is over with. You need to learn how to really cut the cord. Um, we might do that, this new moon coming up. I'm going to do a live session. Um for us if you want to get in get in on that of how to cut cords we're going to do that for the new moon new moon we're also going to bring in some new energy new love energy and new money um i'm going to have that set up by the end of today where you can purchase that and we're all going to do it all around the world you'll need a few um items and they're not crazy items so um you know you, you need your items in your own personal space and uh, we're all going to do um, our uh, new moon ritual together. But anyhow, um, some of you, it's just like you just really need to be done with an, with maybe um, an old energy, an old person, someone who you were very good to, someone who you gave your heart to. And now you're at a place of you want love. Um, you want love, you want a relationship, but you're also, um, you're also full of fear and drama. So you need to heal your root chakra also. And that's okay. You know, you're, you're dramatized. You may, maybe you even dramatize things in your mind before you actually, you know, act on them. Or if you have that fear based energy of maybe keeping people at, at bay you don't want them too close because if they get too close and they know too much about you or they can use something against you or they could do this or they could do that i mean the scenarios are endless right but um the aquarius the cards want you to know that nothing but good opportunity is here for the taking they just want you to get clear and do the healing work also um, understand who you are. The star card says completely accepting you for who you are. You are the star. People look up to the stars. Um, some people look up to you. Some people value you and what you have to bring to the table. Some people hate you for it and what you, have and what you bring to the table. But you have to get completely um, comfortable in who you are. And understand that it's either going to go one or two ways. It's going to go really good. It's going to go really bad. And you need to be able to depart from in relationships. Do not put work into relationships that are really bad. That you see it go into a place of, um, you know, it's going downhill. Or um, you just really need to get comfortable in your skin also. Comfortable in you. Uh, some things of the past, maybe even family members, friends, have made you uncomfortable um, just because of the way you think or the way you speak, the way you act, the way you dress, the way you dress, um, what you drive, where you go, what you, what you eat. I mean, people have made you uncomfortable in yourself so much because of what you bring to the table makes them uncomfortable. Um, misery loves company, so if I can make you uncomfortable, then we're in the same place. So the cards want you to really get comfortable in you, get comfortable in what it is you want, get stable in your mind about it. 
um, so that you can actually bring in that energy because it's you're right on the precipice of having it. You're the nine of pentacles. The ace of pentacles wants to come into you. That would be the ten. But you go back and forth because of fear. Some of you also, the fear stems from time. You're like, well, I'm too old. I'm too old to do this or I'm too old to do that or I'm too old to start of this or start of that. Um, or you say, I'm, I, it's just not enough time or I don't know how I would do it or I don't have the money. Yet. So there's some fear-based energy here and they really want you to work on it because I think you know you.